Mount Morris Road split at the stoplight so that a glass storefront with mannequins in evening gown dresses could be the collateral damage if a car approached without brakes running right through to shatter the glass. But then you'd also run over Johnny Wooten, the kid who hung over an iron railing smoking what must have been a cigarette that never went out, because it was a repeat, every sighting of gaunt Johnny always looking side to side, never at you in your car, spitting, narrowed eyes when taking inhale, a presence that forever created a hiss or sigh from my mother, who might say, Look at that kid! Like everything that's bad with the world is embodied in Wooten. But I thought he had the self-confidence to be a public display, and isn't that worth something? Like he didn't really care what we thought, we who lived with a swing pool and acres of land with a pond in a small town with one major intersection. The Mount Morris Public School girls liked me in ninth grade, the Catholic school boy whose self-consciousness about acne foiled any Wooten confidence, and dislike from girls who looked like sluts and looked past me, who hung out in front of Kmart, eyes thickly ashed with mascara. How desperately I wanted to talk to them, to have one visit in the throes of nightly flights into the erotic. Myself and my neighbors thought it was hilarious that Johnny Wooten once swam in our pond on an especially hot day amid leeches and bloodsuckers, and how many did he have to pull off? Years later, I learned that the locals called our part of town Snob Hill, and I never really thought of ourselves as snobs. It didn't occur to us that we never once invited Johnny or the Kmart attractions to swim in our crystal clear pool, and that maybe we were the leeches who sucked upon life as it occurs in the sorts we one-upped.